Welcome to level 14, Off Balance, for another insanely perfect relic run. Not only is this level pretty difficult, but I've got to go through it a couple times. Um, I did this once, recorded it, and realized the footage was a little laggy. I think I had some internet issues. Um, the video was skipping, so I'm going to get it again here. Not a problem. It is a fun level, but it's pretty lengthy. Um, what makes this one difficult, in my opinion, um, we've got the new mechanic of wall running you just saw. But we also have, you get like both mask power-ups, um, and you also have a hidden path as well. So it's just a longer level, um, more, more hazards, lots of hidden boxes like this one right here in the corner. Make sure you get that. Um, let's see here. It's not too bad, but it's just, it's just long. Um, so to get through the lengthier stuff without dying can be tasking sometimes. Here. This one. Here's another section that reminds me a lot of that first game. Here. Alright. Looking good. Got two Aku masks. I probably will need those. Here's our first power-up section. Keep the spin going when you land um, to get rid of those lanterns. And then that platform will collapse over there. We're gonna go at the last second and then immediately jump off over this flame. Well, when they give you enough one play, you don't have to hit all of those bouncy boxes throughout the level um, to get that Wumpa gem. Should be good. Ah, okay, cool. Here's the bonus round coming up. Again, this one's pretty difficult, like some of the others too, but this one's tough because of the, uh, there's a weird nitro jump. You have to crouch and then double jump, but the ceiling makes it kind of difficult. It'll like push Crash down to limit his, his double jump, so it almost like pushes you into the nitro. Uh, let's see. If you can make that slide jump happen, it's a good way to avoid those explosions. And yeah, so I'm gonna try and do that crouch jump here. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I like to wait until the nitro bounces because it's bounced into me before. <laughs> Poor timing. But yeah, I've got the mask too. So if you have the mask, you can use your Aku mask there. Or if you die, it's fine, you know, like I mentioned before, you can die in the bonus round, it doesn't affect the insanely perfect relic, for the bonus rounds anyway. That going, look out for the flame, there's a ghost right over here, um, so make sure you didn't get you, you can just have your spin going to come out of the way. There we go, there's a hidden path is right here, so look out for the nitro, but then drop down. That's kind of the cue, right? Like the nitro's there for a reason. Um, indicating the bonus the bonus path. Or well, the hidden path. Okay, and look out here, there's some fire. Okay, let's see. Double jump, and the power on. Spin power, yeah, there we go. Cool, got it. And this is another tricky spot with the flame and the timing on everything. But, should be good. No, I lost one of my masks. That's okay. Um, here's the hidden gem, so that, this is why we needed to go this way. There's nitro, but hidden gem. Got it. Okay. Turn that power up on when you get to the top here. Statue out of the way. And then jump over these. Hold left, so you don't hit those nitro. But jump back over them with the spin going, because there's uh, some boxes here, as well as over here. But turn the power up off, because these are TNT. Okay. Got that. And they're going to take the mask power up away, so just be aware of that. This box at the checkpoint. And as soon as Crash or Coco's feet start to squeak um, at the end of those wall runs, that's when you gotta jump. Sorry if I mentioned that already. Um, oh man, I lost my mask again. Jeez. Okay. I'm gonna hang out for a second. There we go. 
Right. There's a night show right there, so look out, you don't jump into that. Okay, let this fire go by. Cool. Checkpoint, and I'm at 122. Depending on which nitros I did or did not blow up, right? So be mindful of that. This part can get tricky um, with the timing, of course, right? But there's a certain box you have to body slam and then phase as soon as you're falling. Um, you'll see it here in just a second. One, two, three, four, five. right here so jump on top of this wait for the platform body slam and then phase the platform back in like that um, it's weird timing but it's not too tricky just gotta be patient with it okay. and there's another tricky box up there you have to jump off that TNT way in the distance and then up to the right there's a box we have to hit we you need that to hit it um, but first, jump, spin, jump, spin, jump, phase, jump. All right, let's get that. Got it. Cool. Oh, I'm gonna wait a second for that fire to pass and go. There's another one right here to the left. Another box up top. Okay, so I have one Aku mask. I'm about to get a second one. And this is the end of the level off in the distance. So that should be... Should be pretty much it. There are, I think there are two more boxes um, during these jumps here. So let's see what is where. There's one here to the right. And then there's one to the left. Yeah, right there. Cool, got it. All right, one more perfect relic down. <laughs> That's right, buddy, you did it. <laughs> cool. Alright, see you guys soon.